Folks, how you doing? Dirty here, and uh, this is probably just going to be a one-off playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'm about halfway through the tutorial right now, and thought about it. I was like, I, I, it's a fun game. I don't know if I can make a full series out of it, but anyway, I'm just going to like get myself through the rest of the tutorial, which I've actually already played through because uh, the, the save game system is a little bit wonky, and I should have saved that at some point where I didn't. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're about halfway through the uh, tutorial right now, if you're wondering where I am, where everybody else's Let's Play starts off in a happy, friendly village, and uh, you're with your parents and stuff. Well, everybody's dead right now, or are they? Are they actually dead? Well, they, they were standing up behind <laughs> a second ago. You might have got a glimpse at the corner of your eye. Actually, when I loaded into the game, all these models were in, like, the... Uh, the the Maya 3D like thing where they have their arms put out in a T. So yeah. Anyway, the the story so far of this game, uh, we're a blacksmith's son, and uh, anyway, this guy's like a he was a super professional blacksmith dude, and uh, I gotta check my inventory here now because uh, I gotta make sure we still have a sword. Anyway, uh, it's uh, I forget what century it is. It's medieval times. Anyway, it, it's kind of like. Uh, let me get my sword out. Come on, pull it out. There we go. It's medieval times. Uh, it's based in a historical setting where I'm sure, like, the actual historical overlay of the events happened. Uh, there was a king that died. He was a very popular king. Everybody loved him. Then uh, not-so-good King Wenceslas uh, picked up the crown, and not a lot of people liked him. And then his half-brother decided to take over the kingdom. So we're living in th this little historical setting right now so uh i so uh, yeah the, these opposing forces they attacked our village uh parents got killed you know the drill right <laughs> it's, it's, it's an rpg you can't have your parents live through the opening of an rpg uh your parents get killed you run off to like this other town you inform the residents of the other town hey there, there's bad stuff going on uh, so I just left this other town after staying there for a little while and uh, kind of quote unquote escaping from there uh, because uh, I don't know they told me to stay in this other town, to stay safe for whatever. But I like you know I gotta go back and bury my parents because <laughs> that's uh, that's one of those things that you never see in these RPGs. Like oh yeah the the parents died and there's this cutscene and stuff and you never really see them get buried but uh, they they do this here. So anyway we're on the road back to our uh, hometown here. And, uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of dead people around. So, uh, the, the one reason why they didn't want us to go back to this town because there's, like, thieves and stuff uh, here doing some looting, and we're going to do our first little bit of combat here. Like I said, I have played have through this section before because uh, no. where I thought the game would have auto-saved, it did not auto-save. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we're going to... We're going to try to speed through this as fast as possible. And like I said, I, I think it's going to be a one-shot for me. Oh, I can mercy kill this guy. Okay. i got to hold down now. Because it's, uh, like I said, it's a it's a fun game. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know if I can do commentary. You know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of dialogue. There's, I'm going to take this because I don't think we have any head armor right now. There's a lot of dialogue. There's a lot of loading screens and stuff. And I don't know if I really have the patience to wait for that stuff to happen. So, yeah, I, I'm just uh, coming in and I, I just took that guy's, like, headwear and stuff. Uh, what's a seek? I'm going to pick it up. Seek and thou shall find. So, yeah, <laughs> funny thing about this, uh, you know, normally you walk in and say, oh, yeah, it's the dead NPCs. Yeah, well, uh, we can loot them because, I mean, why not? They may have been our friends and neighbors, but now there are apple and pear factories. Look at this. She had a bread and a carrot. Talk about a good time. Talk about a good time. So yeah, we're like, oh man, the, these evil bandits, they should not be uh, going into this burnt out village and, and looting and, and taking everything from the dead people. Here we are doing the same thing. So, uh, Yeah, it's, it's... I get the feel that this game is a lot more open world, or it opens up into a, a larger open world environment. Uh, a little bit later on, but uh, like I said, I've only managed to like get through like the initial tutorial. 
What I'm assuming is the tutorial because there was credits and stuff coming up. It's like, so and so proudly presents Kingdom Come Deliverance. And I was like, okay, I must have made it through the tutorial. And then when I loaded up the game and found myself back here, I was like, well, crap. Crap, because, uh, you know, I... When you, when you start to do, like, a Let's Play or whatever, you usually, uh, at least I, I try to, anyway, I load up a game, see if it's actually going to run, uh, first off, and then see how the recording's going to go. Uh, so, you know, I said, oh, I'll just play through the tutorial, and then we'll decide afterwards if I'm going to do a, uh, a Let's Play or not. And, uh, like I said, there, there's a lot of dialogue scenes, a lot of cutscenes and stuff, and... I, I couldn't imagine putting, you like, an audience through that for the first couple episodes of a Let's Play. So I said, you know what, I'll boot it up, and uh, we'll see where we are, and, and, you know, maybe we'll do, like, a little one-shot thing. It's a hanging guy there. His name is Chad. Get it? It's a, it's a hanging Chad. It's an old, uh, what was it, a 2002 election, whatever, when whenever Bush was first elected. Oh, that was pre-9-11, right? Because he was uh, president during 9-11, so was it like 2000? Was that the 2000 election, the whole hanging Chad thing in Florida? There's like 16-year-old kids. No, uh, well, let's tell the truth. There's probably not 16-year-old kids watching this, but, you know, because I'm not one of these crazy, wacky YouTubers or whatever. But, uh, you know, the, the 2000 election with the whole hanging Chad's thing. Uh, I was probably only like 16 myself when that was going on, so I, I don't really know how to comment on it. So yeah, uh, well, there's another looter here. Hey, how you doing, bud? Are you, you gonna go? Okay. He wants to ask us a question because I've never made that axe joke before. Uh, the combat's pretty cool. Uh, actually, reminds me. Uh, okay, he surrendered. Let me talk to him. Uh, let him go disarmed. Give up your weapon. That's right, because look at my hat. You agree, uh, well, it's like you surrendered, so you don't really have that much choice. I'm going to take your axe, actually. I want your axe. Okay. So, yeah, let's let's avoid doing all the looting and everything. Look at the horses. Man, that's, that's kind of sad. <laughs> There's a ton of, like, human dead bodies around. Oh, my God, the horses. That actually reminds me of uh, when I was in college. Uh, a buddy of mine and I, we, uh, we don't, like, whenever we get together, we'd always throw on Braveheart for some reason. We had Braveheart to the point, uh, where we could, like, almost quit the movie line for line. Like, I, I can't remember that much, but, yeah, we were at a point where, like, uh, this is one point, I, I think, in, in Braveheart, uh, uh, Mel Gibson's character, like, his, his, uh, young lover dies or gets killed by the, the evil Unglish. And, uh, so he goes into this camp and he just wrecks everybody. Like, he hauls out this antler and he shoves it up to one guy's throat. And, you know, we actually could quote, what well, like, that entire sequence uh, line for line. And also there was this other part where, like, he goes to this, uh, lady's place and, you know, he's talking to her father. It's like, can she come out? It's like, no, no, the now. And, uh, I don't know. But, yeah, the, the point of this story, I'll, I'll get there eventually. Uh, yeah, we we used to have Braveheart on like in the background and <laughs> at all times. And uh, at one point, we uh, the, my friend like held this party, and I think it was like uh, like around Valentine's Day or around uh, St. Patrick's Day or something like that. And of course, we had uh, we had Braveheart running in the background on VHS, of course, because uh, you know that these were the days of uh, I think DVDs were just just starting to to take off. I must be going at the runway to uh, get in uh, the spot. Is it allowing me, going to get, let me go through the hedges? It, it's it's kind of crazy. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm totally going the wrong way. <laughs> the last time I played this, I think I, I went the other way around the uh, the wall here. But anyway, this this gives me time to talk and get back to the, the whole thing that I started five minutes ago about the, the poor horses. So, uh, yeah, we, we'd have Braveheart run in the background, so, at, at this party. And, uh, yeah, there was a couple of girls at the party, and, and they were just, you know, Braveheart was on, so then we started watching Braveheart. And there's one point in Braveheart where, uh, Mel Gibson's character, like, jumps this horse out of a window. And, like, the, the girls were going, oh, the poor horsey! And it's like, you know, a couple guys just, like, got slaughtered 
buy like a mace or a morning star and they're like oh the poor horsey because the horse jumped out the window you're know, like what really <laughs> really that, that that's that's your main takeaway from braveheart if there's something to uh take away from braveheart it's it's the fact that a, a horse jumped out the window and i don't 100 percent remember that scene right now but it seems like the horse was probably okay anyway it was like a I don't know, he jumped into water. So I'm, I'm going to believe that the horse <laughs> was okay. I don't, I don't remember, like, a scene where the horse was, like, floating upside down in the water like a dead goldfish or something. So <laughs> I'm just going to assume it's okay. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to stroll back this way. I need to get through the, this uh, palisade or whatever it is because that's, that's, uh, that's where our house was and that's where the town is. You know, I think they have it blocked off. Who's... Is that a guy? No. That is... What is that? That is a, a log. Okay. Okay, this is why the police should never use me as, like, a witness for anything. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, I think I saw a guy there. He was, he was like, a, I don't know, he was about three feet tall. It's like on the ground. Made of wood. It's like, really? Really? No, like, uh, you know, stuff... I, I'm horrible with with details. It's like, yeah, man, this guy almost cut cut me off in this car. It's like, what kind of car was it? Uh, car, it was on, it had four wheels, uh, it had a couple doors at least, uh, and, and windshield wipers. Pretty sure that it had windshield wipers. <laughs> what color was it? <laughs> and I won't even be able to tell you the color. Is this another bandit guy? Hey. I'm going to take out that axe that I just picked up just for the, uh, uh, also, the the main like brunt of our initial quest here is that our father made the sword for our Lord, uh, and not in the biblical our Lord sense. Whoa! And uh, yeah, uh, we just finished it right before the attack. I may die here because I have not used the axe in combat before. So, uh, yeah, our, our father made this awesome sword for this, this lord. And of course, our, our village got attacked or whatever. Uh, just before we gave the lord the sword. <laughs> it's a lot of rhyming here. And uh, so anyway, we, we ran off to this village. So part of our, our main quest here, you're giving up? Okay. Talk. I let him go unconditionally because I just mashed the E key there. And uh, part of this is actually going to be us trying to get the sword back uh, to to this guy. Do you have, like, better armor than I do? You have bread and you have cash. Okay. So I'm not sure geographically where this is. I, I think it's, like, Hungary, Bulgaria, around around that area. Uh, I'm pretty... It's not England. I'm pretty sure it's... Uh, it's like mainland Europe and not England like you would normally see in these games. Uh, has my, my health looks okay. You see that little ball and chain thing uh, two down the corner that's kind of ticking away? Uh, that was from the fact that uh, the, the town that we ran away into, uh, they were like, uh, yeah, we want you to stay here and not leave the town because it's not safe for you to go back and and bury your parents. Uh, so I, <laughs> I ended up trying to. This is spoilers uh, for the first part of the tutorial. Anyway, you know you're supposed to put together this disguise for this this town guard outfit, and the idea is once you get this disguise, they'll let you out of the main gate. So I was trying to do that. Had a lock lock pick and stuff, and was trying to get into this uh, chest, and got caught, and they arrested me. So uh, after the the arrest, I found myself outside of the town. Uh, I'm not sure if that's actually how it's supposed to work, but uh, here we are. Uh, okay, so these are our parents, and of course there was a, a cutscene where our mom was in town, and our dad's like, get in the castle and be safe and bring the sword with you while I go in and get your mother. And of course, you know, they, they got killed in the, uh, the ensuing fight with this uh, balding dude. I just I just let the guy do his acting. So I mean it's 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 a cinematic game like they are uh, they are telling a 
the story. I, I said I was going to let him talk, and then I got bored. <laughs> but yeah, it's a cinematic game. They're trying to tell a story, and like I said, at least during the initial part of the game, uh, there's like a lot of cutscenes. There's a lot of very long cutscenes, uh, and of course, it you know it initiates to you to the combat, uh, combat, and, uh, you know, picking up stuff and, and what. See, I don't even have any armor or anything right now, so this is a very very early part of the game. Uh, so, yeah, he's going to say, yeah, I'm going to bury you uh, underneath this tree that we had behind our house because we were we were blacksmiths and we actually had, like, a house up by, uh, you know, the Lord's Castle. So our next bit, which is, uh, I'll confess, the last time I did this next part, it took me a good 20 minutes to figure out where I was supposed to go. Your, your objective is is to find a shovel. I was like, okay, I'll find a shovel. So I went like all around the town. I went back up to where our house was. Uh, I couldn't find this bloody shovel. Wandering around, around, around. Finally, I hear this dog barking. And uh, I'll show you where, where you're supposed to go if you got lost like I did. You can hear the dog barking now. But I went to like the stables because there's like some stables and stuff over there. It's like, hey, well, they have to shovel like horse manure at some point. So uh, I'm, I'm going to go there. I think it's up here. Is it up here? If it's not up this alley, it's down the next one. It's down the next one. Okay. So it's like, yeah, that, that makes sense. I'll, I'll go to uh, I'll go to where the, you know they would keep horses because they'd have to shovel a like, horse dung and stuff. Looked all around. It's like can't find this bloody shovel. So apparently, uh, this guy that we're going to encounter has the only shovel in, in town. That's a it's an epic RPG quest where you find a shovel. Okay. <laughs> Another thing that's uh, kind of neat about it, you see, like, uh, our clothes have, like, they have patches on them, there's, there's blood and stuff. Uh, a part of uh, this game, there is kind of a social system, and how you're treated is based on how you look. So if you're going around like I am now looking roguish, you know, with uh, unpatched clothing and blood and stuff, people aren't going to treat you so well, but if you... Uh, according to the game's trailer, anyway, but if you're dressing up as a knight and you have, like, fine polished armor and stuff like that, you, you're probably going to command more respect. Because, I mean, uh, you think about it. Back in the medieval times, you know, a guy shows up on a horse, finely polished armor, he's he probably got, you know, he's probably connected to a, a lord or something like that. So, yeah, this guy's intent was to uh, loot uh, the corpse. Uh, so, we're... we're chastising them even though we we've, we've already looted some corpses ourselves. Uh, okay so I'm just gonna say I'm gonna bury my parents so there is uh, you see a success there like I said there is a social system where uh, you see down the corner there's like a mat with a little crown in her heart and a, uh, a couple of cross swords so uh, you know the the speech, the, you know, the mouth is speech. I forget what the heart is, but, uh, you know, the, the cross swords are like uh, me kind of doing an intimidation. The butcher has no more need of corn. And now that I think of it, your sword would do me quite nicely as well. So I'm trying to intimidate this guy right now to... The butcher. That's weird. So I, I succeeded in that quote-unquote role of intimidation, so this guy's just going to up and run now and uh, I gotta figure out where did he put the shovel shovels right there and you know what uh, the dog's just trying to protect his master's body yes it's sad lots, lots of sad animal moments in this so um, I'm just gonna leave his body alone even though there's supposedly some some cash there so we'll go back up and uh, we'll go dig our parents grave Thankfully, uh, <laughs> they're there. They, they could have made it a lot worse, but you, you basically run up here, you click on a patch of dirt, uh, you start shoveling, and that, that's that's about it. It just runs into a cutscene. So this was our, our family's blacksmithery. That's where we lived with our parents, of course. It was kind of the, the whole... Uh, remind me a lot of the... I've been watching a lot of old uh, Disney videos lately. You know, reconnecting with childhood and whatnot, and uh, start to kind of remind me of Treasure Planet. It's like, oh, our son gets in trouble. Uh, he could be so much more. He's supposed to use 
uh, use your use your words and not your muscle and stuff like that. So it was, it was that kind of you know parental tutelage. It's like you know think with your with your your head and, and not your heart sometimes. And so you know that that was that was kind of our upbringing. and we were just kind of our dad's apprentice. You, you know your initial quest is you're supposed to go into town, supposed to get some gold back to uh, from a guy who your dad did some work for. Uh, you're supposed to pick up some charcoal and you're supposed to pick up some ale. So it was, you know, uh, introducing you to the town folk before they slaughter them in, in general RPG fashion. Got Dago here. He's keeping me company because I, I don't know if this would have been different if I had looted uh, the butcher's corpse. I think it may have, but, you know. Games with the dog. You know, that's like, like an extra, like, five points on a hundred-point scale. Add a dog that you can pet, because, you know, dogs are awesome. Okay. So here we are. We're going to bury your parents. And, and like I said, it's, uh, that's another reason why I, I'm probably not going to do full Let's Play series is because there's a lot of these... Uh, long emotional moments and and stuff like that, and I think to really get the most out of that for for you guys anyway, if you're interested in this game, is uh, go play it yourself, or uh, I, I don't know. You, sometimes you see on YouTube uh, people do like the movie version of games where they'll tie together a whole bunch of of cutscenes and stuff, and they'll make it like a cinematic experience. Man, I have some beautiful eyelashes there. No mascara needed. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll ruin the scene with, with like, BS uh, statements like that. It's, you know, this is this is a very sad thing. The dude the dude lost his parents. So, uh, yeah, I, I think the game deserves that, at least. Uh, you, you know, it's, it's uh, not to downplay what other Let's Players do, because... There's some very popular ones, and that's what they're going to do. They're just going to play through the entire game and have like a a 50 episode series. But uh, yeah, that's that's not what I'm looking for right now. Especially, I do a lot of Stellaris videos, and the next major Stellaris patch is coming out next week. So I don't want to be too too tied to this uh, while I wait for the Stellaris thing to come out because that's that's kind of my my bread and butter for the channel. Um, you know, that that's my most popular videos. Me. Let's playing Stellaris <laughs> badly, <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude's got a really big club. So uh, you know, our, our our dad's swords craftsmanship. You know, people can just like look at the swords, like you know what, that's an awesome sword. It's kind of like how people look at cars today. Uh, so you know, we have these looters here. Uh, so they want to take the sword. And we're, we're going to fight this guy now. In the rain. Very, like I said, very cinematic. I'm not too, too comfortable with the combat system right now either. I think part of it is because we're quote-unquote low-skilled. So... There we go. We got knocked out, and that's what happened last time I played through the tutorial. So, I'm pretty sure... I don't know if it's possible to beat that guy, but it's... As cinematic as this game is, I, I think it's one of those things where you're just destined to lose, so... It's gonna go into, uh... This, uh, longish cinematic right now. Uh, you know, they're gonna make off with the sword. Uh, people come in on horses and save us. And, uh, new, you know, it? that's that's it. So uh, I'm actually going to end things off there because, like I said, I just wanted to, to do like a little, uh, almost like a, a let's look at here because I think the game does deserve some attention. I think there's a lot of, you know, a lot of fun times we have with this. But uh, in terms of a let's play series, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's the way to go, like I said, especially as, as cinematic as it is, at least not for me, not not my style. So uh, anyway, if you liked uh, what you saw here, uh, think about liking the video. Uh, think about uh, subscribing to the channel as uh, well. And uh, we'll uh, see you next time. Of course, this is the spot where uh, you know it's like, oh my God, it's a single lady. What's she gonna do? And of course, the cavalry rides it. So end things out there. 
take care, folks. Have yourself a great day.